Hi guys, my name is Michelle and today we're going to be talking about polymorphism. So the first thing to note is just the name itself. So poly means many and morphism means form. So polymorphism means many forms. And today we're going to be talking about overriding and overloading functions specifically. So I'm going to share something with you. So here I made uh, just a simple program. I made a class called cat and within cat there's this function called make a noise except when you print it it prints nothing so let me show you so nothing however there are many different types of cats so i also made a class called house cat which extends cat and then as you know by inheritance it inherits all of the functions that cat made. So if I just comment this out and I were to go back into polymorphism and do here, I'll change this one to say like M. I change it to house cat is my D cat. It's new house cat. And I'll do my dcat dot make a noise. A noise. Okay. So now I'm going to run it. And as you see, we see two M's. However, house cats don't just make no noise, they have their specific noise. They meow. So, oh, this is the wrong one. It's supposed to be meow. Um, and so I basically, with this function, I'm overriding, which means I'm changing the, so basically what overriding does is it prioritizes the function that's within that class. So although house cat inherited make a noise from cat, it is prioritizing using this version of make a noise. So now if I print this, It'll go M M meow. And I did the same thing with tiger. So let me print out tiger. We'll call him raw. We'll do raw dot make a noise. So now if we print this, oops, if we print this out. We get M for our original cat, we get meow for our house cat, and then roar for the tiger. Um, so yeah, basically what override, overriding does, as I said before, is although a function might inherit, although a class might inherit specific functions from its parent class, it'll override the functions and prioritize using its new function, even though it holds the same name. However, so that's one part of, part of polymorphism. The other part is called overloading. So basically what happens is overloading allows you to have multiple functions with the same name as long as the parameters are different. So here I made another function called make a noise, except this one takes in an integer of number of times. And I let it print the amount of times that the user wants. Um, and so for this, it allows, so yeah, like it allows you to have multiple functions with the same name. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll have raw dot make a noise, except we'll say five. And as you see, it, well, it did six times because I had the one before. But yes, that is overriding and overloading. It's also to make sure that you know the difference between overriding and overloading. Overriding is when you, um, have a parent function that you inherit except you change what it does like the actual function itself and then overloading is when you have a function with the same name but you change its parameters thanks for watching